Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trail. Today we're on a three mile circular walk to here, the Come to Good Quaker Meeting House. Hello and good morning. Today we're in Pempole. We're going to do a circular walk, a countryside circular walk. We're going to follow a creekside and find a Quaker chapel. Is it called a chapel? A Quaker meeting building, house. meeting house. There you go. You saved the day there. <laughs> I have my uses occasionally. <laughs> Our walk today is taken from Fiuk Parish Council website. It's route number six starting at Pempole. Pempole is south of Truro on the River Fowl. So there is a small little car parking area here. This is where the walk actually suggests that we park. Um, it's just big enough for a handful of cars, but there is other parking available in Point, which is very close. Our first instruction from the little car park by the chapel here in Pempole, it tells us to walk up the valley road away from the creek. Just before we head off, I just want to show you this. Behind the little car parking bay, there are these extraordinary plants. Look at them, they look like great big lettuce leaves. And our leaflet really helpfully tells us that as you look across to the stream, you may notice the broad-leafed yellow lily plants that have escaped from the water gardens of Happy Valley upstream, and which were planted by the Boscawans of Jagai in the early 1900s. Anyway, let's leave them behind and crack on. Are you studying that leaf already? I am. It's very good actually. It says that the old corn mill was situated just above the car park, but no remains of the building are visible today. There is a lovely oh, old photo yeah. they reproduced on there. It would have been down there, I reckon, yeah. where the little stream is now. Yes. I think we've just discovered the leet here. So the water would have been in the channel, the hedge keeping it in place, running for the water mill. And who lives in a house like this? <laughs> Even the nesting boxes are fancy down here. It's the size of it. It's huge. So close to Fiok is a big house owned by the National Trust called Trilisic. You can explore the garden. The house is open, it's quite small, there's only a few number of rooms. And there is a woodland walk, but if you find, like we have in the past, that you arrive on a very busy day. We've even been turned away when the car park's full. This is a couple of miles up the road, mostly off-road on footpaths we're expecting today. Includes a pub as well. So maybe to curb your disappointment, you could consider doing this. It's off the beaten track and we're hoping it's gonna be nice and quiet. Did you see the nowhere door? No. Did you not see the nowhere door? No. Ah. Do you want to see the nowhere door? I'm sure you've filmed it. I have filmed I'll a nowhere door. see it in the edit? Yeah. On that house? Yeah. I think it must have been an old barn. Oh, okay. So they've got a stable door on the outside. Yes. They've converted the top bit into a window. Yeah. But they've left the door there. Oh, fair enough. That reminds me, what are we having for tea? <laughs> Beautiful little cottage, isn't it? They're walking through their garden, isn't it? Literally, out their drive. Isn't it? I don't know if it's a pattern up there. 
This looks like a wonderful little farm. What are they? What are they? They're chickens. Yeah. There's more chickens behind. And these look like ducks. Don't they? There's so much noise. Which one of you is the noisy one? Is it you? You're a handsome beast, aren't you? Well, a bird, not a beast at all, are you? Hello, my beautiful. They're golden. They're not golden geese, are they? How do you ask a goose if it's a goose? Are you a goose? <laughs> what did it say? No. Do you think they know they've been filmed? Yeah. That's what yeah. it is, isn't it? We yeah. queued them up, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. You know what that is, don't you? No. It's a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a duck a duck and a goose a goose? Well, I'm quite good at identifying ducks when they're floating. <laughs> I should have brought my um, ladybird book of uh, farmyard animals with me, <laughs> yeah, and I could have nice. identified things. I do, I do know that those are sheep. So if that helps at all. We're nearly there, we're going to go on to the main road. This road is quite busy. It's the main road between Cannon Downs and Trilithic. Oh, I need a camera. I need to... Yeah, gate. Okay. You just found. Well, this is helping us to identify our farmyard animals. It is. It is. It tells us that free range, freshly laid eggs from happy hens and ducks. No geese. No geese. Just in the distance there, you can actually see the Quaker Meeting House. It has the green windows and thatched roof. Oh, I love this little building. It is so beautiful. It's a book, darling. There's no no treats. It's a book. I'll try and eat it. <laughs> so we're here at the Quaker Meeting House in Come to Good. There is a little bit of information on our leaflet about this building, and it says a meeting house was first established on this site in the late 17th century, soon after George Fox, the founder of the Religious Society of Friends, had first brought his message to Cornwall in 1656. What I'd like to do is just add to that. This is our King's England book from 1930s. Our book says, it's good to come, to come to good. Certainly it is good to come to, with its houses and its lovely setting of trees and a charming little building thatched and buttressed, which is said to be the oldest Quaker meeting house in England. It was built in 1710 mostly of mixed clay and straw and it is said that there is only three buildings like it in the country being used once a month in summer and only once in every three months in winter well i think that might have changed since this book was written it has simple plain benches and a gallery with its lattice windows and shutters finely set against the white walls it is a little picture to remember and the mind runs back through the generations as we see the mounting stone for those who used to come on horses long ago and the open shelter under its thatched roof where horses and vehicles could park in the old days. Having fun? Yeah! What are you up to? On these walks, they've got these posts with a QR code that links you back to Fiat Parish Council. Ah, look. So there's the post. Yes. And there's your phone. And I've put the QR code, it's highlighted the QR code, and it now says Open Fiat Parish Council. There you go. And it ah. tells you all about what you're looking at. Fantastic, I'm not sure it's coming out. So you can actually learn more about your walk as you go around. Yeah. What a great idea. 
so you know you're on the right track as well, don't you? Superb. Excellent. Quaker meeting house it is gorgeous down, isn't it? And what my yes. brain is struggling to compute is the fact it's over 300 years old. I know, I and know, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's, um, I don't know if you noticed, but at the very far end, there was a tiny little graveyard down there. I often wonder that the people that built that, whether they could even imagine that in 300 years time, it would oh, still, still be still there. And it would still be used as a place of worship. I know, it's, it's priceless really, isn't Absolutely. it? That's what we're saying. Absolutely. We're now in part of Cornwall that is quite traditionally quite wealthy. It's a suburb of Truro, if you like, and there are some lovely houses around here. And we're heading towards a nice pub called Punch Bowl and Ladle. Not open at the moment, I'm afraid. Quite <laughs> okay. a history from memory, isn't it? Yes, quite contradictory history. I've read online that it was used both by smugglers, but also by customs men. Uh -huh. So which is true, the smugglers hid their contraband but from what I read, the customs men then burnt it in the great big fireplace. So were well, they just not very good smugglers? Well, perhaps the customs men were there three days a week and the smugglers were there four days a week and they uh, just had alternate days. That would make night sense, shift, wouldn't day it? Shift. Yeah, absolutely. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> if you know or can cast any light on this, please help. I'm confused. I like the punch bowl and ladle. It holds fond memories for me. We did a bit of a courting, old fashioned word, here. And so did my parents. Lovely little pub. Having fun? Yeah, it's quite a stylised little map that you get with the FIOC Parish Council walks. So we're point D, the pub, Punch Bowl and Ladle, which in um, more normal times you could probably stop and have a lovely lunch. So we're going to just follow the road back for a short distance and come down to point E, the Wellington Plantation. The Plantation of Wellies? <laughs> we'll explain more when we get there. <laughs> So it's two glorious thatch roofs we've seen today, Sarah. I know, exquisite, aren't they? We're spoiled. Have you seen on this one, on the pub as well, what they've put on the thatch roof? No. Oh, when we walk away, have a look. It's my challenge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, see if okay. you can identify what it is. Any hints? Uh, hints in the name. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you got a punch bowl on it? Yeah, and a... Ladle? Yeah. Oh, let's go and have a look. <laughs> let's see if we can see it. Something in the middle, up here. Oh, yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> it is up there, that's brilliant. It's right opposite the pub, Sarah, you'll find Pillar Cottage. And on Pillar Cottage, you'll find a VR post box. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna have to go and film it now? How exciting is that? Come on. What do you think, boy? I think we'll stay here and just let him do what he needs to do. Looking at him over there, I just wondered. Does anybody else, his husband or partner, other half, do weird things? I'll get an happy now. What's sad? Pub shut. Happy fan VR post box. Where okay. are we going now? Straight ahead. We're looking for Mount George Road, which is Red Cross, and then a public footpath sign. We're here in Wellington Plantation. It's rather special. You get lovely big plots, lovely individual looking houses. And the reason this came about, if you look around, there's lots and lots of trees. And our leaflet here says, the agricultural depression, which followed the end of the Napoleonic Wars, prompted calls for infrastructure investment to provide employment for those in distress. The Daniel family, they were the owners of Trelissic, headed the call and the Wellington, Waterloo and Exmouth plantations with tangible results of this investment today so hence it's so green isn't it fantastic so i can figure loads of advantages of planting lots of trees because obviously really good for the climate and everything isn't it yeah and helps with pollution stuff yes. like that there's one downside of planting too many trees leaf fall no shade no what squirrels will take over <laughs> it's gone to your head look at them They're amazing So 
we're taking this footpath now. We're avoiding all those busy roads. It's amazing, fantastic, just the ticket. With spring you get all those beautiful acid lime green colours and that gentle dusting of yellow on the trees as the buds and the sap are rising. The sky is still quite a brittle blue. You haven't got that depth of colour like you get in the summer. But boy, oh boy, won't be long, will it? Oh, Sarah. I can see the highlight of this walk. It's the end of this path. It's what I've been waiting for. What is it? I'll tell you when we get there. What is that? Southwest water? Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget your 300 year old Quaker meeting house. Forget your 15th century thatched pub. Right. This is the highlight of our tour today. This is the Frogmore. It's not what I think it is. Sewerage is it? pumping oh, station. Oh, for goodness sake! Isn't it beautiful? Built in 1969. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> not really. I'm gonna take some photos. You hear the gentle hum of the pumps. I'm making an appointment for you tomorrow. What with? The doctor. I'm fine. <laughs> Honest. So, for your information, Sarah. This is the sewerage pumping house at Frogmore, <laughs> part of the sewerage system for Fioc village, which was installed in the 1970s. Public sewerage for Fioc had been discussed for the previous 15 years and schemes were proposed for treatment works at a succession of different sites, each one failing due to public and landowner opposition. I don't know why. <laughs> Finally, in desperation, the Women's Institute petitioned the Home Office in June 1969 uh, complaining of sewerage now running down the lane past the uh, school in Fioc village. Uh, An inspector was sent from London and he advised pumping the sewerage to the Truro works situated at Newham which remains the final solution today. So there we are, if you want something done you get the WI to do it. They'll, they'll sort it out. They'll flush you out. Yes, yeah, so if you fancy a new sewerage pumping station in your town or village then speak to the WI. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I honestly do not know what to say. It's not all jam and Jerusalem, you know. <laughs> That's what I love about this channel. You go from talking about Napoleonic Wars <laughs> to sewerage. <laughs> and what makes it even more funny to me is the village is so proud of their sewerage pumping house. <laughs> They're walking leaflet. They are, aren't they? Yeah. 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 And, you know, ah. well, it's a secret though. Don't tell them because it might devalue the houses a little bit. We don't want well, that to yeah. happen, do we? Yeah, no. Rather elegant in their beautiful surroundings and large it's, acreage. It's nicely positioned though. It's, it's down a little lane, isn't discreet. it? Discreet. It is discreet. It is discreet. So in the winter they reckon this gets muddy. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely Wellington boot back. muddy. You can see actually the plantation from here, the amount of trees that went in. It's impressive, isn't it? It is! This is really difficult to walk off. Isn't it? <laughs> Especially when your husband pushes you off the path. <laughs> you take the path. <laughs> so continue along the diagonal route. Come to a stall in the corner next to the smithy. I don't expect it's a smithy anymore, do you? She's walking over their property, aren't we? Yeah. Can you get over that thing? Um, no, that's a fail. You're going to have to turn off the camera! Oh, bless you. There we go. What have well, you been feeding him? He's getting heavier. Yeah, the smithy. I'm not going to talk about this. I've clammed up. What I'm particularly enjoying about this walk is it's taking you through areas that you don't normally see in the car. This is quite a busy area near Truro and you've got some beautiful houses that usually whiz past in the car. 
here we're getting little glimpses over the hedge discreetly looking in people's gardens are immaculate they've got such large plots here beautiful beautiful houses it's a bit of fun wriggle. don't wriggle <laughs> side of the house that you don't normally see and this walk allows you a little peek exquisite First bit of road walking we've done. Actually, it's been what a couple hundred yards. We're yeah, here. Yeah, it's not very much, is it? But some this of the roads the are cottage. a bit busy around here. Oh, we're and going we're up going up here, <laughs> Magnolia Cottage. Why is Magnolia Cottage white? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> this little track is going to take us all the way back to Penpole now. I'm looking forward to my picnic lunch. Thank you. Thank you, like that. Let's do some gate leaning. You sure? Yeah. Have we seen it? Look. Look at the state of it. I don't mean you can ah, lean on that, Sarah. Follow me. Ah, okay, yeah, alright, we can lean on that one. I'll give well, you that. <laughs> Six foot people can lean on it. Oh, that's a bit tall, isn't it? No, it's not. Me. No, okay. I need to grow. Or bring some boxes with me. Our dogs escaped. Shouldn't be in there. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? We've just joined up with where we were earlier. Yeah. Do you recognise it? Though. Yeah. Enjoyed that. I did too. Yeah. This walk at Penpole is at the head of Penpole Creek, a little creek off the River Fowl. We've now finished our walk, we're going to have a little stroll around, look at the beautiful cottages down this end and hopefully find some water. That looks like the old Methodist chapel. I love the windows. Still got a bit of the stained glass in there. And it's still in use. Penpole Methodist Church. So the date, which is over the top of the door there, it's got 1861 on it. Creekside walk found an old Quaker meeting house. I know it's fabulous, 300 years old, that's madness. It blows your mind. I know, it? I love the old pub as well. Such a busy area, but we were able to stick to footpaths. So the map is very stylized and not so easy to follow, yeah. and it doesn't give us a number of miles, only the hours it should take. Yeah, so we're going to mark it down just a little bit for that, but the information they've put into that walk is fabulous. Love it's, the post. Yeah, and they even told us about the sewage pumping works, fantastic. <laughs> I so really what, enjoyed that. What are you going to score it? It's going to be an 8 out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10. Well done, Parish. I feel parish. I can't talk. Fish. 
Fiat Varro Council. <laughs> if you've enjoyed our video today, then give us a thumbs up, send us a comment, and if you haven't done so already, then consider subscribing. It's free on YouTube. If you'd like to help us out a little bit as well, there's a donate button. You can find more details on our website, cornishwalkingtrails.co.uk, and there's a link in the description.